in Tai Chi, the free rings theory indicates there are three imaginary rings around our shoulders, chest, and qua. Keeping these rings closed are easy, but it takes some trainings and time to open them. That's why in all my three levels of Tai Chi posture requirement courses, I spent a great deal of time teaching you how to relax and open these areas. During the Tai Chi movements, we're constantly opening and closing these rings. For example, in the seven star posture, we are closing these rings to have the energy focused on the center line. While in single whip, we open the shoulder and chest rings to let the chi flow smoothly across the upper body and open the qua ring to let the body weight sink all the way down to the ground. In some advanced level applications, one should be able to open one or two rings while keeping the others closed. Then, these three rings combinations become like the trigram in Bagua. The placing three plates on the floor from Yi Jing Jing is a good training not only for your tendons but also your Tai Chi skills. It makes you more aware of the free body rings. Furthermore, it is a good exercise to open the quad and let the weight sink to the ground. Here is the footage extracted from our Yi Jing Jing study course which is created by two talented instructors. They have learned Yi Jing Jing directly from my master. Start by inhaling and raise your hands. Open the palms and rotate to bring the elbows together. Exhale and rotate your hands inwards and outwards. Widen your stance a little bit. Inhale and open the shoulders plate. Full extension to the sides. Exhale and sink to the ground. Inhale and raise your hands, widen your stance and open the chest plate, full extension to the sides, exhale and sink to the ground. One more time, inhale, raise your hands, widen your stance and open the hips plate, full extension to the sides, exhale and sink to the ground. Inhale, raise your hands to the chest and hold in this position for one breath cycle. Inhale, raise your body Adjust your stance. Exhale and press down. If you have injury in the elbows area, avoid bringing them together. Instead, you can simply do this. For the lower stance, go as low as you can, but don't force it. And make sure that your qua here is open so that the knees don't go behind the toes. For advanced students, first, 
open the shoulder plate and sink to the ground. Then open the chest plate and sink the shoulder plate and the chest plate to the ground. And finally, open the hips plate and sink the three plates all together into the ground, like pouring a jar of water into the ground. <laughs>